This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Atlas build guide. Today I'm going to show you how to build this multi-purpose farming schooner. Let's get to it. We're going to start this off with a, a basic schooner. Nothing special going on here. I have the bottom deck on, I have the top deck on, I have the top deck completely filled in and I left this gap in this uh, top deck here. This is two from the back so one, two and then leave that gap right there. Okay so we're going to start off with our walls. We're going to place a wall there and we're going to take the walls all the way around until we get to here and then we're going to change it to the slope like that. Now we're going to fill in some ceiling pieces real quick and put those like that and then grab your slope roof piece like that. Now we're going to go up to the top and we're going to take our ceiling all the way to the back. So right now you should have something that looks like this. We're going to put our door in. Go ahead and get that out of the way. So we're going to put that there. Then we're going to take our wall piece, transform that to the slow piece again, and then you end up with that there. Okay, so from that point on, we're going to come up here and we're going to do the top part of this. So we're going to put walls like there and right there. Then we're going to take our sloped pieces. We're going to put one there, hit T again, and put the other one there. Now we take our ceiling pieces across here like this. So we basically we're staggering it so that you can have a row of cannons across here. That was a weird transition to nighttime. And then on the top, you can have your ballista turrets. Okay, so once you are at this point here, we're going to take our ceiling pieces and we're going to take them across like that. Then you can grab your slope roof pieces and bring those down to here. Now you can change that to ramp or the roof or stairs or whatever you want. I like the look of those uh, sloped uh, roof pieces like that. Now we're going to fill this in with the sloped wall and we can just hit Q until we get that to go into the right spot. And yeah, I don't think it matters which one. I guess it matters like which way you want the design to show, but yeah, that, that looks good just like that. So then you end up with that situation there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our wall piece and we're going to essentially do the same thing here. So, and then we can hit Q until that snaps into place. And then same thing there. And then we can come up here and we can just slap a wall on there like that. And you can see how this works out now with this allowing us to go down. And then we can put our stairs or roof, slope roof piece or whatever you want to get down to the bottom part. This is a good little spot here to like put an ammo chest or something like that. Maybe a little bit of storage there in that little gap because you can easily reach that from right here. Okay, so at that point we're, we're getting there. We're... Uh, we're about halfway there already. Now, I didn't design too much of this ship except for the back because the back is the main part that we're after today. Everything else you can just design however the heck you want it. It doesn't really matter all that much. Okay, so we're gonna put one more ceiling piece right there. This is where the steering wheel is going to end up going. And we can actually put that in right now. So we'll just put the steering wheel right there. And then from here, I like to put in this sloped piece like that to give you a little bit of protection uh, just in case any cannon fire, stray cannonball or whatever that'll help protect you a little bit. Then we're going to transform to the railing and place the railing right there. Now you should be able to get on that and still pop out uh, from the distance view like so. Now if you need to get down you can jump over this and get down quickly this way or you can leave the railing off here if you just want to run across the side or you can leave all of this off. I just like the way it looks I think it looks really cool like that. Okay, now let's start placing our cannons. So we're going to place the cannons across the bottom here and we're gonna leave a gap in the middle. That way you can easily get up and down using your ladder. Now I like to take the cannon, you can hit backspace to remove all the stuff so you can see the blueprint. You can see how there's that straight line that you can see through there that's the front of the cannon. It's hard for me to show you, but if you if you look directly at where I'm looking, you can see like there's the tube shape and then there's like that straight line for the front of the cannon. I like to just line that up, back up a little bit here, with the front there. So something like that, that should give us 
Yeah, see that looks good right there. Once you get one place, then the rest are pretty easy because you can use that one as your guide. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place that like that. And then what you can do is you can place these all the way across, continuing to use that one as your guide, or you can go over to the other side and do the same thing. So what you can do to leave the gap is we can line these wheels up just like that, place it. Don't turn like I just did because we had it placed perfect. So place it like that. Then place your next cannon very quickly and then pick this cannon back up and then you can put it over here and you should be good. Line the wheels up like that and there you go. You have four cannons on the back. Okay, so now we're gonna go up to the top here and up at the top is where we're gonna put our ballistas. Now you got an option here. If you're gonna do a ton of whale farming, I highly advise to do three ballistas because it's going to be a lot faster. If you're going to do a bunch of ship of the dam farming, I recommend doing two ballistas uh, and then two cannons. So I'll show you here the configuration. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to put a ballista, right, I'm gonna try to line it up. It's hard to line up the front but we can line up the side. I like to line it up with that line right there the best I can. So something like that, that looks pretty good there. Then we'll make another ballista and we're gonna do the same thing on this side and we're gonna place it just like that. And then you should be able to fit a ballista, a third one comfortably in the middle, just like that. So this configuration here allows you to farm both whales and ship of the dam, any level ship of the dam, pretty easily. I mean, four cannons takes them out pretty quickly. Um, and these will just make very short work of the whales. But if you want to take ships of the dam, if you're farming higher ones or you're, you're, it's just taking too long for you. The other thing you can do is you can put two cannons in the middle here like that. And that's, that's, once again, that's completely optional. That's up to you, what you want to do, depending on what works best for you and what you like to farm. Uh, whales are great for gold. Ships of the Dam are great for crew and for blueprints. So it's uh, it's whatever you want to do. I'm going to go with the balanced version, which will kill both pretty quick. Uh, this is honestly going to make super short work of whales. At this point, we are going to start working on our armor. So we're going to come out here and we're going to snap pieces right there and right there. And then we can go into the corner piece and place that like that. Then we're going to come across to the other side here and do the same thing. You can see over there, the armor is super basic and simple. So we're going to go over here. It's just enough to add a little bit of protection from your main structure here because your back end here is what's going to be taking the most beating. And we're going to go to the corner piece and we're going to snap that like that. And then we're also going to snap it there. This is going to allow you to slip over here and repair everything very easily. And then what we want to do is we want to snap pieces like that. That's going to help protect any side cannonballs from hitting your uh, ballista turrets here. And then we're going to do the same thing like that. And that's pretty much all we got going on there. It's nothing too complex and you can easily, oh, I almost forgot. We want a corner piece right here. So we'll go to the roof corner and we're gonna snap that on there and then if you want you can put a piece here but I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about that uh, you can put a piece like another slope piece right here if you want but uh, I mean that's uh, that's another one of those preference things I think the corner right there is perfectly fine and then uh, what that allows you to do is you can come up here you can easily access all of these pieces repair them quickly and easily and the same with over here having that corner piece there allows you to step down on the corner come around here repair everything. You can also do it from the front here as well. Super easy armor, super basic, nothing too crazy. Just helps protect the walls a little bit. These side pieces here and these slope pieces here are going to help protect your cannons. Pretty much they're going to have to hit you straight from behind to, to damage any of the stuff here. 
now we are going to place our sails. So we're going to place our first sail there, which is a large speed sail. And then you can do your choice of a small speed or small handling scale. I'm just going to place a small speed scale sail. Yeah, speed scale, speed sail there in the front. I like two speeds so you can be super fast. Um, but once again, that's preference to you, whatever sails you want to use, slap them on there. It doesn't really matter too much. You should, I think without a large speed, you should still be able to outpace pretty much anything. I know you can outpace the whales. They're insanely slow. Uh, ship of the dam. You may want to make sure you use at least a large speed. And then this front sail can be weight or speed or whatever, whatever you want it to be. Okay, so now we are going to go down to the bottom here and start to place our panels on. We're not going to put any cannons down to the bottom. We want to be lightweight. Uh, you can level this in more weight and use it to hold all of the gold that you're going to get or uh, whatever else you're going to use to, to farm it for all of the, uh, well, blueprints don't weigh a lot, but you should get a decent amount of gold, which is relatively heavy. Not as bad as it used to be since they've lightened it. But uh, yeah, I don't bother with the cannons on the bottom because you really you really don't need them. Basically, what you're going to do is if you see a ship at the dam, you're going to run up alongside of it. It's going to aggro on you. You're going to pass it. And then you're just going to let the cannons do their thing. Same with a whale. Uh, you're going to come up alongside of it. You're going to face the back end towards it and you're just going to kite it. If you really want to for aggro purposes, what you can do is you can come up here to the front and you can place a wall like that and then you can place a ceiling piece and then a ramp. And then you can place another ceiling piece here and here and you can put cannon here or you can put ballista turret here, whatever you want to use as an aggro option. You can put a couple of them if you want and then you can run into it. So what we can do is we can, I'll show you real quick here, get a couple more here. And then what we can do is just drop a ballista in the center and then put a cannon angled out like that. And then we'll grab another cannon in a cannon angled out. Oh, that didn't actually place. Okay, so we got the cannons now. So you can do something like this if you're worried about uh, gaining aggro and if you don't want this to break easily, you can just do that. So you're gonna, these are vulnerable and if you don't want them to be, you can also put roof pieces like this and that'll help give them a little bit of protection. Your cannons are gonna be, you won't be able to aim too far this way if you put the roofs there. Um, you can also put cannons straight on this thing or just leave these off. You're going to be turning relatively quickly, so they're not going to take too much damage, but um, I don't really think that it's necessary, but this is a, a really easy option and something that you can do if you want to gain aggro and make sure you have plenty of time to turn around and face them. But honestly, with a little bit of practice, it's not too hard to use just the back end of the boat to farm with. So before we release this, we just need to place our ship's chest and our ammo box. They're perfectly safe back here. So we can just place our ship's chest like that. It's going to it's gonna take a lot of damage for this to get in here, for a cannonball to get through here to damage this bad boy. And then, like I said, you can put something here like storage or the ammo chest. I like setting the ammo chest here. Whatever you prefer, you can put those wherever you want them. And then uh, down here, you have down here, since it's not filled full of cannons and super tight, to do whatever you want to put down here. You can put a bunch of storage down here, smithy, whatever you want. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice and basic design. All right, let's release this bad boy and I'll show you a couple examples of how it works. Okay, we have all of our crew on here and as you can see, if we take a look at the uh, setup here, you can see our weight is relatively low. We have uh, room left for four more crew actually so we can comfortably fit plenty of crew to man everything. One thing you want to do before you start doing this or you take off is you're going to go in here, you're going to go to station group options and you're going to set this to like one of these numbers. So I like to do five. So we'll go just for the ballistas. We'll go up here. We'll do the same thing to this one, set it to five. And then we'll go up here and we will do this one and set it to five. This way, when you're on the steering wheel here and you're farming ships of the damned, you do not want your ballistas to be firing. So if you look down there at the bottom, you can see that number two is the back. That's all of your cannons. If I click this now, the cannons won't actually fire. If I hit it, then the cannons will fire. So you can see here they're reloading. I'm going to tell them to stop for a second. I want to show you the that you get the reticle thing. 
So they should be good now. You can see that they're reloading. So if I click stop now and I undo two, and now I do it, you can see I don't get any option. So then I hit two, and then I do it again, and now I get the option for the cannons. So you can use this to to separate the two groups between the ballistas. So now that my ballistas are on five, if I hit two and then I hit five, you can see five is now active. So that gives me my ballistas and I can actually fire my ballistas. This lets you easily switch back and forth between the two to farm what you need to farm without having to worry about wasting ammo. Okay, so we're going to uh, take off out here and gonna kill a few whales or a whale in a ship of the dam and show you how it works all right so here we have a ship of the dam so we're just going to apparently we've leveled up as well we're just going to sail into this bad boy we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna pump all that into weight because I don't really care so we're going to uh, you can put in whatever points you want to put in wherever you want to put them on this build which is one of the really nice things about this build so we're just going to sail right past him we should grab aggro here there we go, we got aggro. As soon as you see that bar across the top, you know you have aggro. So now we're going to turn and we're going to tell them that it's okay for them to fire. We're gonna make sure that the cannons are active, which now they are. And now what I like to do is just turn your sails away from the wind and then you can just kinda adjust it till you get just the right speed to stay out of the range of his cannon fire. And then if they if it fires and you feel like they're too close, you can just speed back up. We just need to uh, get in line with it here. We're actually going way faster than this, so I'm going to slow down and ignore that bug that's that's showing there. That's just a bug. You're not actually shooting your own ship. It's uh it's a visual visual glitch that they need to fix badly. You hear that devs? It's an annoying visual glitch. Fix it. It's stupid. Okay, so we're still going just a little too fast here. I need to slow way down. Just kind of, this ship's crazy fast, by the way. All right, so we're just going to slow way down. And I think we about got him here. Going to try to readjust and just uh, wait for it to line up with us. They, go, they zigzag back and forth. You see how it zigzags back and forth, which is slightly annoying. Um, yeah, it's almost dead. So and then you can use this tactic to kill pretty much any level ship of the damned. And that's getting a little bit close. So I'm gonna, there you go. I'm gonna crank up the wind a little bit, but yeah, so that's, that's the basic tactic to it. So as you see, like the backside of the boats, what's going to take the most damage. Uh, you may take a little bit when you initially broadside some of those uh, higher levels. So, I mean, you can armor the front of this thing if you want to armor the front of it, but it's completely up to you how you want to go about designing the rest of the ship. The main important part is the back part here that we designed for this. I honestly don't have too much issues. I use a lightly armored brig that doesn't have stuff down the side of it for my farming, which is another video that's coming soon. And it barely takes any damage on its plank. So I'm pretty sure that this one should be just about the same because those larger ships, you should be able to get their aggro. And if you don't, when you're sailing past them, just aim your butt towards them and fire and you'll get them. Okay, so let me show you a whale real quick. All right, so here we have a whale and we're gonna pretty much do the same thing. We're going to sail alongside him and then we're going to turn around and hopefully, okay, here we go. And then we will just uh, swap from that to number five, tell the ballista turrets to go to town. He's a little high out of the water. I may have summoned him just a little too high, but he's settling down pretty quick. And as you can see, we don't even need the wind and he can't catch. And it's the same situation whether he's all the way down in the water or not in the water. The whales are insanely slow. Looks like he's getting readjusted there. There he goes. But uh, yeah, so like they're pretty easy to kill. They're way easier to kill than the ships of the dam. So we're just going to turn around and we're actually going to catch the wind and we're going to sail up next to him. Try to get his attention here. If we were a little closer, we would have been able to kill him before he was able to do anything. So we're going to sail this way. I'm just going to cut my sails, face the back towards him, and take a bunch of damage, apparently. Oh, we got rammed. 
<laughs> and we got some sinkage. <laughs> we might get rammed again here, but we're gonna we're gonna finish it off. So don't get rammed. Don't get too close to it, and you won't have that problem. Um, but yeah, as you can see, oh, he took off a chunk of the boat over there. <laughs> I got a little too close to him, got a little carried away, but yeah, it works, trust me. Uh, just don't get rammed or, you know, this will happen. They hit pretty hard, and that's not the whale that you're going to run into a majority of the time. Uh, I can't seem to find that one or get that one spawned in. This is like the angry whale. Most of the time, you're just going to run into the monstrous blue whales, which really don't even care, but... I'm not even going to run away from him. I'm going to let him come in here. I'm going to kill him with one ballista because you can do it like pretty easily. Yeah, there you go. So, um, oh, that was a monstrous sperm whale. Okay, the ones that I've been killing are the monstrous uh, blue whales. But yeah, so we're just going to let this bad boy sink because you get the general idea. Don't let it hit you. Um, that hurts bad. As you can see here, whales are no joke. But uh, as long as you're careful and don't do stupid stuff like I just did, you shouldn't have that problem. But the ship works great for farming them. I actually used this this uh, design a while before I started using the brig design, which will be in a future video. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.